Do you guys ever feel a sense of like numbness? You know, you're kind of just going about your day doing your daily thing. But for some reason, it feels a little bit different. It feels like you're just looking at yourself from like a bird's eye view. And it almost feels like you can't feel anything. Like you're numb to everything. And anything that happens from then on doesn't really affect you. And you just keep going. And you just keep going. And and it's hard, I think, to really put that feeling into words. But I'm going to try my best, too. I feel like a lot of us, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of us struggle with this sense of beating ourselves down, of taking in as much bullshit as we possibly can to the point where we numb ourselves from feeling anything. What I've noticed is that I would just take it and take it in and just fill up my jar until I can't take it anymore. And then it pours out into outbursts that I can't control. And then the cycle just continues. Day to day, it's like I'm trying to swallow everything, deal with everything, be resilient, be strong. And I don't consider myself somebody that's strong at all. I don't consider myself somebody who's resilient, even though I, I push myself to the extreme limits because I feel useless if I just sit around and don't do anything. So I push myself to my limits until I can't feel anything. And I wonder why that is, you know, is it because I don't feel like, I, I just wish I knew why I did this. And oftentimes when I find myself in moments where I feel numb, where I feel disconnected from my body, I need to meditate, you know. I need to try to bring myself back to my body because my mind gets just so stuck. It's like as if I'm living in a world in my head and the, the reality that my body's in doesn't feel real. Because I've, for so long, tried to ignore reality, the pain of reality, the shit that's happened or the shit that happens or the shit that hurts me. I just take it. And I've gotten used to that. I've gotten used to being strong, to being resilient, to being somebody who just fucking deals with it. No matter all the fucking shitty things that happen. But sometimes I take it too far. To the point where I just can't feel anything anymore. I don't feel sadness, happiness. I just kind of go about my day. And I feel that, you know? And then I try to force myself to do things, to find that joy, to find that happiness. I do a million things over and over again. Hoping that something will stick, that something will finally make sense, that, that I won't feel this never-ending sense of nothingness and I don't know if, if I'll ever f get away from that I've gotten used to just kind of dealing with it 
And people, <laughs> one time I was at work and I'm somebody who you can easily tell uh, how they feel <laughs> based on, uh, you know, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. And whenever I, I go into work, people know how I feel. More often than not, I think like 80% of the time I'm, I'm in a good mood, you know? I force myself to be in a good mood. And then there's that like 5% of the time where I'm just absolutely miserable. And sometimes I feel like because I'm in a good mood more often than I'm not, that I don't have an issue, that, that I'm normal, that I that this numbness that I feel isn't a problem or a deeper problem. But I think we fail to realize that the people who struggle the most or the people that struggle a lot tend to not really show or tend to hide all of the shit that happens. And you know, what sucks is that sometimes I feel a lot of shame because I have a home, I have food to eat, I have things to do that I enjoy doing, but there's still that numbness inside of me. And that numbness comes from trying to ignore all the pressures of, of life. And I wonder if anybody else struggles with that, you know? If anybody else feels that sense of not being connected to their body or their soul sometimes. And I don't know. I guess sometimes I, I get kind of tired having to constantly try to meditate or try to focus on my body because my, I can't stop thinking. I can't stop living in my head. And that makes me numb to reality. And sometimes there have been certain moments in my life that were very difficult for me to deal with. And the only thing I could do is swallow it and keep going. And I know people are going to say, oh, well, you know, like, that's how life goes. You, you know, like, that's how you learn or that's how you do things. Or you have to be strong or you have to be, like, the most resilient person because I went through this. And so you have to go, like, through this. But, man, sometimes I feel like I'm just too sensitive. <laughs> you know, I live in my head and I try to be so strong, but I'm not. I'm not, I don't think it's strength and I don't think it's virtuous to stuff everything down. I think it's a way to cope with life. And unfortunately that leads to a sense of being numb. And I don't know, I just wanted to share that with everybody today. I don't know if any of you guys... I've gone through that or feel that in some way, but sometimes I feel lost with what to do. You know, if I should follow what I truly believe or believe what everybody tells me to do. And life is so short and all the pressures and worries and making sure make, making the right choices in life and making sure you live your, your one life as, as, authentically as you possibly can. Sometimes those thoughts, they never really go. They just kind of circle through or become louder depending on the day. And today I feel a little numb. Today I feel a little numb. And if you struggle with the same thing, you know, you're not alone. Um, and I wish the best for you because I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to come on here and talk about that. Um, that's it. So thank you for watching and have a great day or night. Bye.